Hello there, it's Miss O'Kane here, ready to read you a story. So are you sitting comfortably? Excellent. So the story I have chosen to read today is by a very popular author called Julia Donaldson. Now she has written lots of children's books, so you may have heard of her. Um, and the book is called, can you see, The Snail and the Whale, in very fancy writing there. The snail and the whale. Can you see the snail? Let's find out then what happens. This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. Now I wonder if you can notice and recognise the rhyming words in this story. Snail and whale. This is a rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. <sighs> the sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. Can you see? There's the soot black rock. There's the tiny snail. And here is the dock with all of the boats. There you go. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, be quiet, don't wiggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail and a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, so can you see his snail trail? What does it say? Lift wanted around the world. So he's written a message on the rock with his snail slime. Oh, can you see all the snails on there? This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale immensely long who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, Come sail with me. Look at that enormous whale. What were immensely long, that immensely long whale. And there he is holding out his tail for the snail to jump on. This is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail. Whale and tail. They rhyme, don't they? Oh, where do you think they are? Can you see all the icebergs floating in the sea? It's up there in the Arctic, isn't it? The penguins and the seals. To towering icebergs and far off lands. With fiery mountains and golden sand. Can you see in the picture? Can you see that? That's a volcano. It looks like they're in the jungle, doesn't it? Or a forest. And who's that on the tree? It's a monkey. These are the waves that crashed, that arched and crashed, that foam and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the... Whale, can you see those big waves crashing and foaming? Uh oh, who is this? These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail on his tail. 
And what do you think they're thinking? Look at those toothy grins. Mmm, I wonder what they're grinning about. This is the sky, so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lighting, lightning, flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. So sometimes it's beautiful and calm, and then other times there's a storm. Can you see that? Can you see the zigzag lightning? Very frightening. Is the snail still on there? Oh, he is. It's holding tight, isn't he? Holding tight onto that tail. And she gazed at the sky, the sea and the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. Where are they now on their adventures? You see that eagle and the bear and the whale. I mean, the snail said, oh, I feel so small. This big wide world. So much to see. But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race. See zig zigging and zooming all over the place upsetting the whale with their ear splitting roar making him swim making him swim too close to the shore where has the whale and the snail ended up oh dear it's much too close to the shore he's on the sand isn't he almost this is the tide slipping away so the tide is slipping away so that means the water is getting further away as well doesn't it the tide is slipping away and this is the whale lying beached in a bay quick off the sand back to sea cried the snail i can't move on land i'm too big moaned the whale the snail felt helpless and terribly small then i've got it she cried and started to crawl i must not fail said the tiny snail oh dear there's the whale beached on the sand there's the snail but she has got an idea what do you think she's going to do this is the bow on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. There goes the bow. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as soot. What else in the story is as black as soot? There's the teacher. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail! A snail! The teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail to the trail of the tiny snail. A slivery trail saying, what does it say? Save the whale! These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool. Are the children have told the fire brigade, the fire engines have came to save the whale, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. You see them all busy, trying to help the whale. This is the tide coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. So they keep the whale cool and wet until the tide comes back in, until the sea comes back 
closer to, onto the sand. And then there's the whale. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock. Who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral wave caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail, and on crawled snail after snail after snail. Why are all the snails crawling on to the whale? What do you think? Why are they all crawling on? There they are, look, jumping onto his tail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey, blue, humpback whale. Mm, they all wanted to go travelling, didn't they? They all wanted to see what it was like. And there we go. They're all going on another adventure. And there we have the end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Stay safe. Bye.